Fucky, fucky, fuck! I'm confused! Yeah, you! You're fucking stupid! Hey! 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 Why don't we watch them so you don't have to? Welcome to Stupid Movies episode 137. Where we watch them so you do not have to. And this week we watched Julia X. I don't know why I did that. That was fucking dumb. <laughs> 2011, <laughs> not rated 92 smacks. <laughs> Minutes. Right. It was it was directed by uh, PJ Pettiet. Pettiet. Pe Pe Pettiet. Pettiet. Okay, so I just want to say for all of the directors and the actors out there that we say your name, I know we've said it wrong. I'm sorry. We try. Yeah, yeah, we're not the sharpest sometimes when it comes to reading. No. <laughs> or names. Or names, or it's talking. I I'm sorry to everyone whose name we've mispronounced. We're sorry. We're not doing it on purpose no. to be dicks. No. Uh, starring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this starred Kevin Sorbo. Yeah. And then the girls, uh, Valerie. Uh... Aslan. Aslan? Valerie what Aslan, the fuck, yeah, man, and, and Ashley Lee Willis, or Alicia Lee Willis, and then cameos kind of by Joel David Moore and Ving Rhames. Fuck, man, I love Joel David. I Moore. do too. He's great. I do too. Get on Joel David Moore. No, don't, don't. He Get would, on him. He wouldn't appreciate that. <laughs> so, what was this movie about, Rob? Oh, <laughs> you're leaving it up to me, huh? Well, Adam, um, what the hell was this movie about? So. so People meet up on a date through the internet kind of deal. Lo and behold, uh, one of them's a killer. And uh, twists ensue, I guess. I, it's, I, I, it's hard to, how much can you say without giving anything away? Yeah. Because this is a very twisty movie. I, I have a hole in my crotch. I and it's not a vagina. don't know why I looked down when you said that. <laughs> so what did we like about this movie? Uh, I liked how gory it was. Yeah, surprisingly, it was gory. Um, I knew nothing of this movie. It was Adam's choice this week, and I no ex expectations. So to see a, a lot of blood, and most of it was blood, yeah, which is fine. But there was a lot of it. Yeah, the twist. They had some twists throughout. Had a couple. Yeah, which I like. Mm -hmm. um, you know, which some of them were kind of you could see coming. Some a little telegraphed, but yeah. Oh, yeah. So that, that was cool. I always like twists in a movie. Yeah, I like twists. No, I don't like twist ice cream cones. No. You know what? I, I like the acting in this. Yeah, Kevin Sorbo really killed it for me as the killer. He sold it so well. Very um, convincing. Like most of my experience with Kevin Sorbo outside of this has been like Hercules and that sort you know, of like he's super muscly. Yeah. And likewise with the the girl the two girls. The they two did. girls were great. Uh Alicia Lee Willis was phenomenal. She was the crazy one. Yeah. And, and you, oh I'm sorry. Oh, you shake rattle and roll. Ooh. Shake rattle and roll. And and part way through when she comes in and she starts acting crazy Oh man, she was great. At her best, she reminded me of Harley Quinn from the Batman comics, and even from the, yeah, the animated yeah, series. Yeah. When she was at her best, when she was back there being all giggly and, and goofy, she like, was great. Yeah. And I love that. I mean, I love that character. Obviously, I named my daughter after her. Oh, um, wow. and that to me was phenomenal. Her yeah. acting was great. She did very good. And Joel David Moore. I mean. Oh. He, he killed it as he always does. You can put him in literally anything, yeah. and he's going to be good. He was great. He just cracks me up. Yeah. His style of I acting. I love him so much. The, I, the story was simple, but effective. Yeah. And there wasn't a lot. There's a little bit of backstory that kind of... You, Sold it. You see why they are the way they yeah. are. Um, it's, it's funny to say that it was a simple story for how many twists there are in this movie, but yeah, it is true. a simple it story. Is, it's straightforward. It really forward. is. Yeah. It's straightforward. It, there's really no uh, wasting time. This isn't like Saw. Where you're like, <laughs> oh my you. god, these... Blah, 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 blah. I mean, the sixth movie, I don't know what the hell's happening, but there's only yeah. one of these, so that helps. Yeah, it, it was very clean and straightforward. The, the pacing was good. Yeah, it was consistent. For the most part, yeah. It wasn't super fast, but it wasn't slow, never yeah. really dragged. What I liked about it was it started pretty much right away, and then there was no like build-up to it. It was just, bam, this is what's happening, and then... Boom. Yeah, it was great. I, I liked that. And it just kept going, and going, and going, and going, and going. Ah, calmed. Happy time. <laughs> um, I really like the locations for this. The yeah. the um, the swamp was cool, and the abandoned school was really really cool. Yeah. Those two uh, sets or or locations, I'm not sure if they were actually on location or a set. Yeah, but they were really good. The swamp part was really cool. Yeah, the, the, just the scenery and the 
stuff. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know what? This, for me, this was a great love story. It was very romantic. <laughs> it was so sweet, and I, I just, the love story in it was just phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. What do you say about that? I, I don't know. I felt dirty. I mean, the first. Mm, yeah, we'll get to that. So I, you know, I, I, I liked it. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, it was good. Yeah. yeah. I wish Joel and David Moore had more of a role. Yeah. Which mm, let's get into the dislikes, I guess. Yeah. Um, the CGI in this was crap. It was awful. They did do some practical, which was cool. Yeah. So it kind of evened out, but. The, some of the stuff that was CGI too, I didn't understand why they did CGI. Like yeah. the girl's eyes, yeah, just put was... contacts in. Mm -hmm. They obviously did for the close-up, so why didn't they do it for the long shots too? I don't, I don't know. Uh, and was... punching through the door, <laughs> did you notice how fake that looked? Yeah. Why? He's fucking ripped. Kevin Sorbo can punch through a door. Just let him. Not the movie as a whole, but probably the first act, maybe the first what thirty first thirty or so, yeah. made me uncomfortable and not in a good way. Mm -mm. I mean, I get what they were doing, but uh, it's mm, it was almost too real feeling. Yeah, which that can be a good thing. Mm. Eh, but with the with the um, the stuff they were doing with the concept and stuff, the violence, it, the, the violence, violence towards the women kind of thing idea. Mm. I don't like it because too real. There's really ass wipes out there who do yeah. stuff like that, and I want to. Hurt them. When when he was punching her in the face in the beginning, yeah, it, it was really uncomfortable and it hard just, to watch. You know, we both have daughters, and maybe that's and part of it. And, and wives, that's true. Our wives have daughters. Now later in the movie, when he was doing it, it, it was cartoony. a different story. Yeah, it got silly. But at the beginning, it, it was just it was just cringy. And I, not... I, I had a hard time watching that. Oh, we're going to punch you in the face. Oh, I thought we were fist bumping. I was like... <laughs> good good block, man. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Bam. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go poop for an hour. Yeah. Another big dislike, and we kind of got into this a little bit. This movie couldn't settle on what it wanted to be, what its tone was, because it started off, the first third or so of the movie was Megan is Missing, if you've ever seen that movie. It was very uncomfortable and dark and too realistic and yeah. yucky. But then... All of a sudden, about a third of the way through, it switches to, like, I spit on your grave, that sort of revenge movie, you know, women power sort of revenge. It's like, okay, this Men is... Men suck! Yeah, I mean, it's like, this is... Okay, this is good. Right. And it felt like that first third paid off for that second third. Right. And then the final third <clears throat> was like Scooby-Doo. Yeah, couldn't make up a damn mind. And, and that kind of leads into, you said the pacing was consistent, which is very true, but it right. felt long. It did Because drag. it felt like yeah. there were three movies here. It's like, get to the point, which yeah. it did, but it didn't. It did, but it didn't. If that makes sense. It doesn't. Okay. It does, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. This movie had continuity. Conti <laughs> uh, it had some continuity errors. Yeah. Uh, that we could tell. Maybe yeah. we're stupid, but there was scenes where it like go to one place to the next and it was raining and pouring and then she run into a field and it was sunny and, it's dry, and dry and it's like and then all of a sudden it's nighttime they go into a building it's daytime they come out it's nighttime and once you realize it it just all pops out yeah. like a giant Ron Jeremy boner but, well it's pretty obvious yeah. the, 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 mm -hmm. we noticed we noticed and if we noticed and we don't we notice don't, anything we don't notice poop I, I literally just today noticed that there's movies behind us. It could have been trimmed down a little bit, too. The movie could have been just a, a little bit shorter. Just a little. Maybe ten minutes. Yeah. Eighty minutes would have been a perfect length for this movie. Yeah. So, oh, man, I wish I didn't have a penis. <laughs> there are a lot of dickheads out there yeah. like that in real life. And that adds to that realism. So I get it, because it's true. Yeah. Especially in chats and stuff like that. Yeah. There are crazy people mm. out there. And you know, you know it happens in real life. You get on there, you go meet somebody, and they're crazy, but you're crazy, too. Uh, I don't like that. This world needs to be a better place. I'm in this kick chat with this guy who keeps sending me pictures of his penis. No. <laughs> like, every day I get a picture of his penis. It's actually yours. <coughs> Somehow I got a picture of yours, I just keep sending it to you. Oh. And the fact that... I thought it looked familiar. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, but, you know, overall, uh, it, I think it's worth a watch. Um, I'm not going to go out and buy it. No. I probably won't watch it again. No. But it's worth checking out. At least I, I've once. seen it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good now. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's some, you know. Some of the ones we've seen recently, like Karis Hell, oh, I yeah. want to see again. Yeah. Um, House Harker, which I've seen three times now, and I'm going to watch again. Right. Yeah. This doesn't rank up with those. No, it's very middle of the pack for me. Yeah. Um, so, 
middle of the pack. Yeah, let us give her our reviews. Rob, what's your review? What would you do? Give a number to this movie. <laughs> what would a number be? I had a hard time because I did enjoy it, but I didn't love it. And 4.5 out of 8. Yeah, that seems about fair. Yeah, I would say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what's yours? All right, so I'm going to give this movie a 2 out of 8. I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 8. And I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 8. Because it really did feel like there were three movies in there. The first third, second third, and last third. And each one, that first third was like a solid two out of eight. Yeah. But then it got better, and then it was just okay. Yeah. So, two, six, and five Very out bad. of eight. Which would equal to about middle of the pack, I about, would say. About four and a half out of eight. Four and a half out of eight. <laughs> so, uh, that worked out really well. Shout out. Yeah, this week's shout out. You mentioned House Harker a couple episodes ago. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Go watch that movie. Watch our review, and then go watch the movie because of our review. And then go tell them that you watched it because of us. Yes! We're going to shout out Derek Hagen, Hagen, how have you said, sorry, dude, dude. again, we're sorry. sorry, we don't know pronunciations, we are really stupid. If you listen to the theme song, you'll know. <laughs> On that note, you can see us at Facebook. Dot com slash stupid movies. <laughs> or over on Instagram at stupid. At, stu <laughs> at stupid, stupid movies. movies. If you want to see my ugly mug at the horror punk. At Dr. Schiffer, even though he never checked. I, I still think, haven't I logged think, in. I don't think you have one thing on there. So, no, I need to go on because your your kids added me. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Friend request. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> go check it out um, and uh, go from there. Yep, we got to stop the show. I'm out of coffee. No, me too. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's right. Your hair. They can't see it. Because from the front it looks fine, but from the side, it, it just like goes whoop. Like you've got this great mohawk, and then it goes whoop, and it stops. Yeah. Oh. You look like a crazy old man. I got electrocuted. Oh, I told in you not to stick your pecker in the fucking light socket, but no, you were like, I think I can fuck it, so I'm going to fuck it. And